Hello, I'm Greg Jarrett. You're in the Strategy Room. Yesterday, a new batch of WikiLeaks emails were released. They were hacked from the account of the chairman of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, John Podesta. What some are finding curious about this email chain is that it shows several Clinton advisors debating whether to impose a new rule about rejecting or accepting monetary donations from, quote, those lobbying on behalf of foreign governments. The decision was made to accept the donations, but what has America raising an eyebrow is why nobody bothered to inform Hillary Clinton of the decision. Here now to explain all of the how and whys, Talk Media News Bureau Chief Ellen Ratner and columnist for the Fiscal Times, Liz Peek. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ellen, look, it's against the law for a campaign to accept money from a foreign government, but it's not illegal to accept it from the American lobbyist who's an agent for the foreign government, uh, essentially acting as a conduit. But a lot of campaigns don't do it anyway because of the appearance of impropriety. Not so Hillary Clinton. Her campaign aides were more than willing to accept that money. Mistake? Well, we would call that laundered money in the business right. uh, because that's exactly what happened. And so I think that, for, first of all, to not tell the candidate is outrageous. And secondly, to take that money is a mistake. Liz, what about that? Would you agree? I mean, these emails showing, for example, that uh, Jennifer Palmiero, who is the spokeswoman for the campaign, wrote, take the money. And the campaign manager, Robbie Mook, says, I'm okay taking the money and dealing with any attacks. In other words, I don't care if it's sleazy and we get hammered for it, take the money. I think the reason they didn't tell Hillary Clinton is they knew she would say okay. I mean, after all, when right. she was Secretary of State, they took in 1,100 foreign donations, donations from foreign interests, into the Clinton Foundation that were never reported because they came through a Canadian subsidiary. I don't think there's really much reason for her staff to doubt that Hillary Clinton would take donations even as uh, Ellen said sort of laundered in a funny way to the campaign right. when she did it while she was Secretary of State. Right. I mean come on folks that there's a reason why only 11 percent of Americans according to one poll thinks Hillary is honest and trustworthy and that's because it's the follow the money syndrome with the Clintons. You can always follow the money and find that they're doing something on the edge at best. Ellen and on the email chain, Uma Abedin, very close to Hillary Clinton, and she uh, is telling the campaign manager when all of this comes out, to, you know, don't get your knickers in a bunch here. Hillary Clinton read about it in the newspapers, and she just wants to talk about it. So for all we know, in the end, Hillary Clinton said yes. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that I can agree with in terms of the Clintons, that they're politicians, they do things politically. I cannot believe that she would have said yes. I really can't. Uh, even if you There's have no the evidence, worst she view said of no, in the world. and she hasn't come out and said, "I told them to knock it off." And what we now know is they got about seven hundred thousand dollars in campaign contributions from these agents for foreign governments. Well, you know, again, that's a big problem, and I don't appreciate that. I don't think it's a good idea, and I would be very surprised if either the Clintons actually thought it was a good idea if they knew about it. Yeah. All right, we know that the Clinton Foundation, not the campaign now, the foundation we're talking about, did receive millions of dollars sure. from foreign governments, and additional WikiLeak hacked emails now show that campaign... Uh, or, or those at the foundation, I should say, were worried uh, that these foreign governments wanted a quid pro quo. Well, there's no question that they got quid pro quos. You have seven foreign governments that directly gave money to the Clinton Foundation. As I mentioned earlier, 1,100 other foreign interests who gave it through an intermediary, which was never reported, even though Hillary's memor memorandum of understanding with President Obama demanded right. that those donations be also revealed. Uh, it, look, it, the quid pro quo, UBS has a tax problem in 2009, spends, gives tens of millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation, a million and a half dollars to Bill Clinton for making a speech, and Hillary Clinton solves the tax problem, which is an odd thing for a Secretary of State to be doing. It, there are dozens of examples 
that show indeed there were quid pro quos. Look, people, uh, as I say, have, do not trust Hillary Clinton, again, because there are so many instances of money influencing the way these people operate. And it's, you know, it's a shame. Yeah, some of the foundation people were really alarmed by all of this, worried about, you know, benefits being conferred. Ellen, I'll let you have the last word. Uh, but one of the emails from a foundation aide said, you know, uh, these foreign donations would be scandalous. Look, they may be scandalous. I just want to be truth in advertising. My brother, before he passed, was Julian Assange's from WikiLeaks attorney. I want to just say this. Why isn't Julian Assange and WikiLeaks going after what might be in the Republican National Committee's emails or what might be in the Trump candidate's emails? I think that would be fair, too. Because he's in bed with the Russians and the Russians want Trump, not Clinton? Maybe. Likely. Or, or Hillary Clinton said that Putin was uh, guilty of fixing elections in Russia, and he wants to show that she has been, too. All right. Ellen <laughs> and Liz, good to see you both. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank For you. complete coverage of the 2016 election, go to foxnews.com. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.